New York Veterinary Specialty and Emergency Center, Quality Medicine and Compassionate Care, 2233 Broad Hollow Road, Farmingdale, New York, 11735, 631 694 3400. For more information, go to www.nyvfc.com or follow us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash NYVFC. Our surgeons are your surgeons. Hip dysplasia. The ball and socket of the hip joint should fit together neatly, allowing the legs to move freely and without pain. Hip dysplasia is a genetic disorder causing a poor fitting hip joint. Hip dysplasia causes pain, damage to the bone, and can erode the soft cartilage of the joint. It can lead to arthritis and joint pain as the pet ages. It can affect one or both hips. Diagnosis. Signs of severe hip dysplasia usually appear before the dog turns one year old and can include rear leg pain, bunny hopping, limping, and a wavering wobbly gait. A common first sign is a dog that has trouble rising from laying down. Dogs with severe hip dysplasia typically develop lameness by one or two years of age. Dogs with less severe cases may not experience arthritis and the related pain or lameness until six to ten years of age. The clinical signs of hip dysplasia are similar to other diseases, so x-rays are needed to make a final diagnosis. This requires anesthesia to allow the proper positioning of the patient to reveal these abnormalities. Veterinarians look for degenerative changes, abnormal shapes of the hip joint, and poorly fitting hip joints. FHO and PenHip are two organizations and radiographic positions that are commonly used. Treatment Treatment can include medication and or surgery depending on the severity of the case. Medication. Drug therapy won't reverse or cure hip dysplasia, but it can offer pain relief. There are several daily use steroidal and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs available. For many dogs, these prescriptions can offer tremendous relief, allowing them to return to a more active lifestyle that is free of joint pain. Recent advances have made surgery a more successful option for treating severe cases of hip dysplasia. Surgeons can alter the shape of the femur or pelvis to improve joint function. Total hip replacement replaces the joint with a stainless steel ball and polyethylene socket. Lifestyle Dogs with hip dysplasia should not live a sedentary lifestyle that is free of exercise. By carefully allowing your dog to exercise at their own pace, you can help loosen up the stiffness in the joints. You must also pay close attention to your dog's weight. Just a few extra pounds can cause skeletal stress and increase their joint pain. Limit your dog's exposure to the cold. Breeding. Pet owners should use extreme caution before breeding their dogs. Large breed dogs that are prone to hip dysplasia should be radiographed by a veterinarian to rule out the condition prior to breeding. Since the signs of hip dysplasia may not be evident until the dog is fully grown, final assessment should not be made until then. Surgery. There are three primary surgical options to treat hip dysplasia. Femoral head and neck excision arthroplasty, triple pelvic osteotomy, and total hip replacement. Femoral head and neck excision arthroplasty, femoral head osteotomy. A safe procedure with many good results regardless of the severity of dysplasia. The femoral head and neck are removed so there is no longer any contact between the hip and the leg bone. The body must form a new false joint. Depending on how well this is accomplished dictates how well the patient uses the leg. Early function and exercise is critical to a good outcome. Femoral head and neck are removed. Muscle is placed between the raw edges.
Pros, relatively simple. Few complications, relatively inexpensive. A majority of small patients return to good function. Few patients are not improved after surgery. Cons, not very effective in very large dogs. More likely to have good or fair results than excellent. Recommendations. Can be done at any age. Good for severe dysplasia in young dogs. Better results in small and toy breeds. Triple pelvic osteotomy. When successful, very good results, especially in young dogs with remodeling potential. First choice in young dogs with moderate dysplasia. The pelvis is cut in three places to mobilize the acetabulum, the cup, which is rotated to cover the femoral head. Pros. May prevent or reduce the progression of arthritis. When successful, more results in excellent to good range. Good long-term follow-ups. Preserves natural hip joint. Cons. Relatively more expensive. Restricted patient selection. Must be done before they have arthritis. Usually must be under one year old. Not successful for severely dysplastic patients. More possible complications than femoral head and neck excision. Some patients still develop arthritis. Recommendations. Young dogs, five months to one year, before arthritic changes occur. Total hip replacement. This is a good choice for patients where the triple pelvic osteotomy is not indicated and the patient is too large to be comfortable with a femoral head and neck excision. A stainless steel prosthetic femoral component and plastic cup are cemented or press fit to replace the dysplastic hip. Pros. Can be used in any patient older than eight months of age not restricted by the degree of dysplasia or degeneration. 80 to 90% of cases report good or excellent results. Normal function usually returns within two to three months. Prosthesis should last the life of most dogs. Cons, expensive implants and precise surgery necessary. Complications, although low incidence can be significant, 10 to 20% may require additional surgery. Total hip replacement systems include traditional stainless steel or titanium stem and polyethylene cup, either bone cement or press fit with bone ingrowth to lock the implant in place. The quality and shape of the dog's bone dictates which is used. Helica system. Similar to resurfacing technique in people, preserves the dog's femoral neck, therefore preserving more of the patient's own bone. This system maintains more normal anatomy and more normal forces across the joint, and more bone in case a revision surgery becomes necessary in the future. Special structured surfaces for optimal osteointegration. Recommendations. This is a good procedure for medium and large dogs with degenerative changes. Good option for young dogs with degenerative changes. Good options for younger dogs with less than 10% femoral head coverage. Where to find us? We are located at 2233 Broad Hollow Road, which is Route 110, in Farmingdale, New York, 11735 halfway between the Long Island Expressway and the Southern State Parkway between Adventureland and Wendy's on the east side of Route 110 across from SUNY Farmingdale. From the Long Island Expressway take exit 49S and go south 2.4 miles. From the St Southern State Parkway use exit 32N and head north 3.2 miles. For more detailed driving instructions, go to www.nyvsc.com and click Contact Us. Thank you for watching. For more information, go to our website, www.nyvsc.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Google+, 
and subscribe to our YouTube channel.